Hello everybody, and today I'm making a bit of a different kind of video. Uh, I haven't really been entering video contests, except for convince us for a while, and my friend the Classy Cuber is actually having one, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video. And I got some fun stuff going on the screen for you here to watch so you can be entertained as I answer the questions that he has asked that people answer in their videos. So, I'm just going to get right to it. The first question is, how did you first get into cubing? I don't exactly remember. There was something on the news, somebody solving a cube or something, and then, um, like, cubes were on sale at Walgreens, so we went and got them. Uh, they were like, buy one, get one free, or half off or something. And then, like, four years after that, I saw somebody solve a cube in, like, under a minute. And I was pretty impressed. So, like, a month or two after that, I just sat down, watched Dan Brown's tutorial, and uh, figured it out. So, next question is, what was the first cubing channel you subscribed to? I don't remember. I was pretty into cubing on YouTube before I had a channel. So, it was one of the big guys back in the day, like Thrust or Monkey Dude or Lance the Blue Knight. Uh, one of those people. Um... How did you first find my channel? Well, my friend, the Rubik's Card 101, formerly known as, now he's known as Insane Cuber, he sent me a Skype message and said I should come check out your channel at your last contest. And I wasn't, that was in the time when I couldn't really make videos and I wasn't entering contests, so I didn't, I don't know. And then after Cubetra, where I met him, is when I first really started watching your videos. Um, what was the first video of mine you saw? Uh, tying it back to the last question, that contest video, because um, my friend sent it to me. So, what are a couple things you like about my channel? Uh, I haven't been watching too many of your videos. Well, I haven't watched many of them. I'm going to start more. But um, the videos flow pretty nicely, and they're edited well. And, yeah, a couple things you dislike about my channel. Uh, in this video, the camera was a bit shaky. Uh, I notice it's like that a lot in my videos, so I can't really nitpick at other people's videos because mine aren't that good either. So, um, yeah. Uh, what is your opinion on all, all the new 3x3s coming out lately, and how many of them have you bought? Well, I got all of them except for the uh, Feng Shi version 2 the MFA Legend version 2 and the GANS puzzle. The GANS is actually pretty nice. I tried one a few days ago. Um, my least favorite out of all of them is the Feng Shi, but I have three of them, so it's still a good cube. So um, My opinion is they're nice, but not quite to the Zanshi quality yet. Um, I don't feel... The CX-3 is close. I think it's the best out of all of them. Um, I don't know, it's, it's one of my favorites, the CX-3. So, my opinion is they're good. What is your favorite puzzle of all time is the last question. And this is a hard one. Uh, it's kind of a tie between, like, 3x3, UFO, uh, Pyraminx, and now Clock. Because I got a Clock and I'm, like, really into it. So, uh, it's actually a pretty hard question. If I had to pick one WCA event to be my favorite, uh, or probably Pyraminx, and then, it's like really close, and then, uh, non-WCA would be the UFO, because it took me, like, a year to find a UFO, and then I found a brand new one, and I was really excited, uh, so that is it for this video, uh, you, again, you can check out the Classic Keyword link in the description below, and, uh, yeah, not much else to say in this video besides thank you for watching, and goodbye.